When we drop an object into water, we often see a splash after the object is broken through the surface. These splashes come in all different shapes and sizes, but what about when it is the other way around, when it is water hitting the surface of a solid object? There are many different things that can happen when a water droplet hits the surface. The drop can bounce, splash, wobble, stick, or just spread out in an instant. What we want to know is why droplet impact varies for different surfaces and how the different types of impact are used. If a surface is super repellent and a water droplet is released from a large enough height, then water can bounce off the surface. The repulsive force from the surface means that the water stays as a droplet instead of spreading out when it hits the surface. When dropped from a large height, the water hits the surface at high speed and has enough energy to bounce. If we drop water from a smaller height, droplets are travelling slower when they hit the surface. The droplet may not have enough energy to bounce. For surfaces which are just repellent, not super repellent, water does not spread out on the surface and can get stuck. This is called pinning. When a droplet is pinned down to a surface, it must be tilted a lot for the droplet to roll away. Compare this to an unpinned droplet on a superhydrophobic surface, where the droplet rolls away with very little tilting. Here we see what happens when some of the surface is super repellent, but the rest is just repellent. The water will bounce off or roll off the super repellent part easily, but then gets stuck on the repellent area. The droplet goes from being unpinned to pinned. We also see that the shape of the droplets varies between the repellent and super repellent areas of the sample. On the super repellent part, the droplet is repelled more and has less contact with the surface, which makes it more spherical than on the repellent part. If a surface likes water, the attractive force will cause a falling water droplet to spread out thinly over a surface upon impact. Spreading is useful for applications like painting and gluing, where we want the water-based liquids to spread out over the surface and then stick as it dries. Splashing can occur when a water droplet is released from a large height. This means that the water droplet is travelling faster when it hits the surface. Droplets that splash are normally travelling faster than droplets that bounce without splashing. Depending on the surface, the droplets look different after the splash. In general, we don't want liquids to splash, because the droplets spread out randomly and are hard to control. In this section, we have seen the various ways a droplet can impact on a surface. The way a droplet reacts depends on the surface, whether it repels or attracts water. We can try to control droplet impact by changing the surface, for example, making a surface super repellent so water will bounce.